today is day, it's a cat again. Okay, you wanna be in the video? Today is day nine of our cleanse and I literally just spent the entire last two days thinking today was the last day of our 10 day cleanse. 10 days of being on a calorie deficit, eating completely clean. So like literally no sugar, no processed foods, no dairy, no anything. The most processed item I've eaten is like quinoa, a little bit of quinoa. So it's been all organic vegetables, fruits, fish, meat, and that's it. Like that's literally all we've been eating. Um, and then t I just made my, sort of my own version of bulletproof coffee. Um, oh, and the most processed thing I ate is like oat milk, I guess, drank. So organic. Um, so I made this with the MCT oil and ghee. I made it with espresso instead. And then I mixed a little bit of coconut. I mean, what's it called? Oat milk and some mint from the garden. So I was like, yeah, man, today's the last day. And Sergio's like, um, no, tomorrow's the last day. And so I did the math and I was like, oh shit, tomorrow's Wednesday, it is the last day. So, update for you guys. Today I weighed myself, I am 128. Started at 131. And if you guys saw my last update, I've been 128. I've been at the three pounds deficit, you know, losing three pounds for the last many days now. And even though I've eaten 1300 calories, hey, and any surplus comes from exercise, right? So if I eat 100, 200 or 300 calories more, it's because I did exercise, went on an hour plus long walk, or did, you know, a 15 minute video workout on YouTube. So why have I not lost any weight beyond the 128? AKA three pounds, I have no idea. I, I don't know, I'm not a fitness expert. Um, I know I probably lost some water weight from just like not eating that much. Thrive, um, the Thrive one, two, three steps is supposed to help me like get de-bloated, unbloat, unbloat me. And so I guess you're supposed to have some sort of plateau and then if you keep doing what you do, you'll lose weight. Who knows, but I took photos yesterday, Monday, after one full week of being on this diet slash cleanse with minimal supplements. I've only tried Thrive separately, right? Like the items separately, just to see how it makes me feel. And the verdict obviously is the pill. The vitamin is super strong. The patch doesn't do much by itself. The shake gives you some energy throughout the day. All three is like, you're on crack. So today I did a half dose, one pill of the two pill recommendation supplement, 75% of a shake. So a little more than half, um, the shake is fine. And I put the patch. So I did a little more than a half, you know, whatever, 75% dose today. And I feel fine. I feel fine. I, as usual, feel like I need to do something, like like punch someone, or not in a bad way, but you know, in a good way. I was like, I need to do something, I need to exercise, I need to do something. And it's not the focus type of something, right? Not work, but I was like, I'm gonna clean my house. So this morning I spent two hours cleaning my house. And it was great. I definitely think Thrive. I don't know about the weight loss. I cannot speak for the weight loss. It, can't say it curbs my appetite or anything like that. You know, I'm just counting my calories. I'm not super hungry throughout the day, but I definitely want to eat. But I can say it will make your ass productive and want to put your energy towards something, whether that's like kickboxing, going for a walk, cleaning your house. So I highly recommend taking Thrive supplements, especially the pill or one, two, three, if you really want to get up off your ass and do something. Do not recommend taking it too late into the day because the other time I couldn't sleep until like freaking 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Anyways, 
that is my quick update. This is my ninth day. One more day to go of completely clean eating. Then I'll let loose a little bit. Um, it'll still be a calorie deficit, probably 1400 unless I exercise fairly clean eating, but I'm allowing myself a little bit more of slightly processed foods and a little bit of sugar, nothing crazy, not going back to my normal eating. And that's going to be a total of a 50 day challenge. Um, oh, one more differentiation, I guess, between the Thrive supplements, women's and men. Apparently the men's vitamin, the men's pack, the only difference is in the vitamin, the pills. It's supposed to be stronger or formulated for men, so it's supposed to give you more of a boost. Uh, I will say I agree. I took one women's pill today and I felt fine. The other day I took one men's pill and I felt... Anyways, <laughs> in case you were wondering what this means, it's like kind of like cracked out. So I think I'll stick with the women's unless I want to do a super hardcore workout. I'll try the men's again. End of nine day update, ninth, the ninth day update. Stay tuned for more. Um, I did, I did a photo. I, I took before, I took my seven day, seventh day photo yesterday. And I definitely can see the difference in my body and like the extra fat kind of like slimming down. I don't know if it's called slimming down, toning down or whatever, but I'll share the photos, which normally I would not really post because I do not think I'm fat by any means, but I don't like how parts of my body looks, especially the midsection. So you can definitely tell from the front, the side and the back when I did my the same poses a week later that I look skinnier, more toned, less chunky areas in the areas that are chunky. So I'll share that and that's it. I'll give you guys an update in another few weeks. I mean, no, in a few days or at the two week mark. See you later. Bye.